Diagon is the cordless obturation system which offers fast and easy obturation delivery. With this effective obturation system and technique, optimum results are achieved and Diagon provides the high performance and reliable results. Diagon features wireless and compact design allows complete freedom of movement, reliable Gouda percha filling to the desired level without delay, fast and continuous flow of filling tightly seals the canal, variable temperature settings 160 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius, and 200 degrees Celsius allow precise control of obturation flow. Quick heating system. Temperature reaches 200 degrees Celsius within 25 seconds. Ergonomically designed 360 degree swivel needle offers improved access. Thinner needle can easily fill the narrow root canal. The Dia Gun Kit includes a handpiece, a charger base, four disposable 23 gauge gun tips, a plunger set with four plunger O-rings, two safety caps, a multi-purpose wrench, a bottle of Gouda Percha obturators, a scrubbing brush, and a power adapter and a power cord. Before using Diagon for the first time, it is extremely important to press the reset button, located at the bottom of the Diagon handpiece. Failure to do so will result in Diagon malfunctioning in the future. Insert the gun tip into the handpiece. Use the multipurpose wrench to securely tighten the gun tip into place. Place the safety cap on top of the heat chamber to prevent possible injuries and burns. Use the multi-purpose wrench to bend the tip to the desired shape and angle. Bending the gun tip with hand will result damages to the tip. Therefore, the multi-purpose wrench must be used. Open the loading slot and pull the plunger back. Insert one Gouda Percha pellet into the loading slot. Inserting more than one pellet may damage the system. Close the loading slot cover and push the inserted Gouda Perch obturator into the heat chamber using the plunger. Press and hold the power button for one second to turn on the device. The temperature will automatically default to the previous set temperature, 160 degrees Celsius. Display shows the current heating temperature as it heats up. It takes approximately 25 seconds to reach the highest temperature setting of 200 degrees Celsius. Press the power button again to select the preset temperature of 160 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Celsius, or 200 degrees Celsius. Once the temperature is starting to increase to the selected temperature, it is not possible to adjust the temperature anymore. Adjusting the preset temperature must be done right after the device is turned on or after the initial selected temperature has been reached. Once the selected temperature is reached, insert the gun tip into the root canal and begin squeezing the trigger to fill the canal with melted Gouda Percha obturator. Caution! Before using the handpiece, check that charging is complete and the handpiece is ready for use. Check that the disposable gun tips and heat chamber are clean and undamaged before each use. As plunger is completely inserted, do not force to pull trigger, which may result in device damage. Do not reuse needles. After obturation, remove disposable gun tips with wrench completely. After each use, remove all visible soil from Gouda Percha obturator in the heat chamber with scrubbing brush. Melt the residual at 160 degrees Celsius and clean it all. Use one pellet of Gouda Percha obturator only. Many pellets can damage the device. To reduce the injury of patient or operator, always place the safety cap on during use. Gun tip should be tightened moderately 
so that there is no leakage or flow out of Gutta Percha obturator. Over tightening the tip may lead to damage to the tip and or handpiece. The tip can be adjusted and bent to the desired degree by the supplied wrench. Do not bend the needle by force. To prevent injury when the gun tip is activated, avoid contact with the patient and operator. When the gun tip needs to be removed after obturation, wait at least three minutes until the tip has been cooled down. After use, push the plunger backwards to the start position. There is a possibility that the plunger might not move back because the remaining filling material is frozen inside. In this case, operate the device and move plunger back slowly.